Hello. I'm here to share with you some info on how to fix Galaxy S10 won't receive text message issue. Another common problem that a lot of Galaxy S users encounter is not getting texts. In today's article, we show you the troubleshooting steps that you can do to fix Galaxy S10 won't receive text message issue. We hope you'll find this post helpful. How to fix Galaxy S10 won't receive text message issue by Harvey on May 4, 2019. Another common problem that a lot of Galaxy S users encounter is not getting texts. In today's article, we show you the troubleshooting steps that you can do to fix Galaxy S10 won't receive text message issue. Before we proceed, we want to remind you that if you are looking for solutions to your own hash Android issue, you can contact us by using the link provided at the bottom of this page. When describing your issue, please be as detailed as possible so we can easily pinpoint a relevant solution. If you can, kindly include the exact error messages you are getting to give us an idea where to start. If you have already tried some troubleshooting steps before emailing us, make sure to mention them so we can skip them in our answers. How to troubleshoot Galaxy S10 won't receive text message issue. There's a number of possible causes for this problem. Follow our solutions below to fix it. Confirm roaming is set. This may be a no-brainer but this is one of the obvious factors that a lot of people fail to realize. If you are in another country or outside of your home network's range, roaming may not be set up. How to fix Galaxy S10 won't receive text message issue by Harvey on May 4, 2019 Another common problem that a lot of Galaxy S users encounter is not getting texts. In today's article, we show you the troubleshooting steps that you can do to fix Galaxy S10 won't receive text message issue. We hope you'll find this post helpful. Before we proceed, we want to remind you that if you are looking for solutions to your own hash Android issue, you can contact us by using the link provided at the bottom of this page. When describing your issue, please be as detailed as possible so we can easily pinpoint a relevant solution. If you can, kindly include the exact error messages you are getting to give us an idea where to start. If you have already tried some troubleshooting steps before emailing us, make sure to mention them so we can skip them in our answers. How to troubleshoot Galaxy S10 won't receive text message issue There's a number of possible causes for this problem. Follow our solutions below to fix it. Confirm roaming is set. This may be a no-brainer but this is one of the obvious factors that a lot of people fail to realize. If you are in another country or outside of your home network's range, roaming may not be set up. Roaming usually needs to be configured before leaving your network so it may be too late to do so when you're already at your destination. Still, we highly recommend that you talk to your network operator so they can give you first-hand information. Advertising check signal. Another obvious thing to check in this case is finding out whether or not the device has good signal. If your Galaxy S10 has poor or no signal at all, it follows that it might not be able to receive texts at all. To check, try to go to an open field or place with excellent service. If you were able to receive texts in the same location you are now, double check the signal to see if it is weak, that might suggest that there's a network problem in your area. To know this, you must contact your network operator. Forced restart. Refreshing the system is usually done before any Android troubleshooting. Some network problems are due to temporary bugs. To fix these kinds of bugs, all you need to do is to restart the system by simulating effects of a battery pool. 
press and hold the power plus volume down buttons for approximately 10 seconds or until the device power cycles. Note, allow several seconds for the maintenance boot mode screen to appear. From the maintenance boot mode screen, select normal boot. Note, utilize the volume buttons to cycle through the available options and the lower left button to select. Also, allow up to 90 seconds for the reset to complete. Confirm no call barring or blocks. If you block to contact using your messaging app only, unblocking it within your device should fix the problem. However, if you let your carrier set the block, this is applied to your account. This means that whatever phone you use, your account won't be able to receive any message from that particular number. If you previously did this, talk to your carrier to remove the said restriction. Check sender format number is correct. If you are only not receiving texts from a particular number, it's possible that his or her number may not be formatted properly. Try to delete, then re-add the number in your contacts app and see what happens. If it's an international number, be sure that it follows the right convention or format for your country. Insert SIM to another phone. If you are in a GSM network, try to insert your SIM card to another compatible device, or to an unlocked device and see how messaging works. If your SIM card can't receive texts using the second device, there may be a SIM card or account problem. Try to replace your SIM card or contact your network operator for help. Check your messaging app. There are two troubleshooting steps that you can try when it comes to your messaging app. The first one is to clear its cache. Doing so will only delete the temporary set of files called cache being used by the app. Open settings app.tapapps.find and tap the messaging app.tapstorage.tap clear cache button. Restart the device and check for the problem. The second one is to clear the app data. You must do this if nothing happens after clearing the app cache. Clearing the data of your messaging app will erase your texts, so if you don't want to lose them, we suggest that you back them up ahead of time. Here's how to do that. Open settings app.tapapps.find and tap the messaging app.tapstorage.tap clear data button. Restart the device and check for the problem. Install updates. Keeping apps and Android up to date is usually effective for issues involving coding related changes. This is the primary reason why we regularly remind Android users to always ensure apps and OS are updated. For apps downloaded from Play Store, you can always check for updates by visiting the Play Store. If you have apps taken outside the Play Store, there may be a special way to get updates for them. Make sure to talk to their developer for a safe way to update them. Is Sender using iPhone? If you seem to be having problems getting texts from iPhone users only, but probably because they're sending their texts as an iMessage. This can only happen if you were previously an iOS user and you bought it or recycled your number in your Android device. It's possible that you did not deactivate iMessage so all iPhone texts are being sent as iMessage. Visit this Apple page and follow the instructions to turn off iMessage. Check for bad third-party app. Sometimes, a bad app or poorly coded app may interfere with Android or with other apps. To check if there's a third-party app that blocks text messages, run your S10 to safe mode. Here are the steps to do that. Turn the device off. Press and hold the power key past the model name screen. When Samsung appears on the screen, 
Release the power key dot immediately after releasing the power key. Press and hold the volume down key dot continue to hold the volume down key until the device finishes restarting dot safe mode will display in the bottom left corner of the screen dot release the volume down key when you see safe mode dot once on safe mode. Try to charge the phone for at least 30 minutes and see what happens. Remember, safe mode only affects third party apps. It does so by suspending them. So, if your texts work normally on safe mode but not on regular mode, that's a clear indicator of a bad app issue. This means that one of your third party apps is blocking your texts boot to safe mode dot check for the problem dot once you've confirmed that a third party app is to blame you can start uninstalling apps individually we suggest that you begin with the most recent ones you added dot after you uninstall an app restart the phone to normal mode and check for the problem dot if your s10 is still problematic repeat steps one four dot reset network settings if the problem still remains at this time, make sure to reset all network settings. This is one of the important troubleshooting steps for any network trouble in a Galaxy device. From the home screen, swipe up on an empty spot to open the apps tray. Tap general management greater than reset greater than reset network settings. Tap reset settings. If you have set up a pin, enter it. Tap reset settings. Once complete, a confirmation window will appear. Factory reset. Wiping the phone with factory reset may appear drastic but you should consider it if nothing has helped so far. This ensures that you revert all settings to their defaults. Backup data on the internal memory. If you have signed into a Google account on the device, you have activated anti-theft and will need your Google credentials to finish the master reset. Turn off the device. Press and hold the volume up key and the Bixby key. Then press and hold the power key. When the Android logo displays, release all keys. Press the volume down key several times to highlight wipe data. Factory reset. Press power button to select. Press the volume down key until yes. Delete all user data is highlighted. Press power button to select and start the master reset. When the master reset is complete, reboot system now is highlighted. Press the power key to restart the device. Contact network operator. Contacting your network operator is the final step in this case. With factory reset, you've already made sure that all possible solutions at device level is done. Thanks for watching. Please click my link in description for more information. Bye.